All right, a group of local seniors honored first responders today, one day after the anniversary of 9-11. WDRB photojournalist Tom Brown followed along as they delivered care baskets to firefighters. We're all taking one basket or maybe two. RSVP is a retired senior volunteer program. They do volunteer work or community outreach in our city or in our county. Yes, I made it. Oh my God. Today is something we started about two or three years ago. We're commemorating 9-11. Here we go. Everybody's got a bucket of goodies. It's still important to recognize the sacrifices that were made, the lives that were lost today, and in particular, the first responders. And that's not just the firefighters the EMS, the police, all those that really stepped up on that day and were showing gratitude for what they do as a sacrifice every day for us. Sit them on in there, load them in there. Seniors have collected certain items. Some of them are homemade goods, some of them are store-bought items. What did I put in my basket? A lot of little snacks. Cookies and some graham crackers and things like that. Things that I know they would like. Oatmeal pies and stuff, probably coming to hear these from my office. It's wonderful to have their support and uh, show their appreciation for us. There's some times that we go through some difficult things, and this uh, truly shows that support from the community. Looks good, everybody. Thank you, guys. It just makes us feel good to give back to them because they do so much for us. And many lives were lost, so it's a very important day to remember every firefighter for what they do every day. Yeah, they got popcorn too, look at that. Whether it was New York or here, it's that, that connectivity. I'll take Thank you, Thank you so much. A lot of people are not alive because they went beyond the call of duty and try to help out in need. But also realize how every day, firefighters, police, EMS, anybody in that first responder row steps up, their life is on the line. WDRB photojournalist Tom Brown with that story today.